once you have your workspace set up, it's fairly easy to start with the development of your own binding. For that, let us switch to the command line. This is the folder where my private uh, fork of the OpenUp2 repository is located. We can have a look here. Okay, these are the folders. So we switch into add-ons bindings folder. We see that inside there are already a few bindings and a creation script. The creation script for a new skeleton asks for a binding ID in camel case, so let's put some cool stuff here. This is based on Maven, so it's a Maven archetype generation and uh, this will now ask us for a few properties like the author, that's me in this case, and we can simply accept the rest as a default. Okay, that's already it. If we look, we see that a new folder has been created, which now is the starting point for our binding. We can also have a look at the POM, and we will see that uh, our binding has also been added to the Maven build in here already. Now what we have to do is to import the newly created uh, folder into our workspace. Uh, Add-ons, binding, there it is. Okay, we have it here, we see it compiles, it has created all the folders uh, that a binding should have. And um, one of the most important folders here to look at is the ESH in folder, which contains the formal description of things and other binding information. So in here we can directly go and say, this is our very first binding and the thing descriptions that also already created us our very first sample template so we can say this is very cool thing as a new thing type with a channel and this channel could be simply a switch for example and as a label, um, we put here, get going. So you can define all your thing types in here very easily. And the code that has been generated, there is one constants class, which is not too important. You would have to update that accordingly. A handler factory that is uh, the default implementation and the main class to look at is the generated handler because that class should now contain all the logic for our very specific binding for the system we want to um, yeah we want to include into open up now here you find the handle command method and let us simply put a breakpoint here and start up the whole stuff as it is. So we check that our binding is selected here. Default auto start, OK. And let's start that in debug mode. If we access localhost now, we can go to the paper UI and on the configuration menu on the bindings we should see now that our binding is listed here as well. We can click on more and see what are the supported things that we've defined and we can also directly go do a manual setup of a new thing by selecting our binding, by selecting our thing type. Uh, next big thing. We can 
can associate it to some group. And by pressing here, we will instantiate a new thing of this thing type. So we see it has been created. We see by default our get going channel is uh, selected and uh, active here. So if we now switch to our control panel, we will see that this appears here, our thing instance with the switch. And if we click here, we end up right inside our debugger. We get called for our channel and received the command on. And now all you have to do is to implement code to handle this command for your very specific purpose. Have fun!